when you open the unit the first time you will see that some accessories are inside and that's where you get the fuse the fuse holder and the extra cable so what you're going to do you take the power cable run it through the semi truck to the battery then you hook up that lock nut to the fuse holder you place the fuse holder you place the fuse in the fuse holder and then you extend with the last 20 inch of power cable you extend it to the battery okay now when you open the unit the first what you see is the control panel we will go over that in a minute first you see two bubblers right hand side and left hand side and to fill those bubblers you have to first take the white caps mounted to the roof you have to take them off those caps you will find right here you take them off from the inside first once you have taken off the cap then you will see that there is a hole in the roof where you can refill each cobbler with now since the white cap is removed you can now open the bubbler after you have removed the cap of the bubbler you will be able to see right in the bubbler with a funnel you can now fill the water the distilled water with the sodium sulfide inside the bubbler you can do this on both sides fill up maximum to this level the first time you fill up the bubblers you should just fill them half of the size with uh, the solution sodium sulfide so you have enough room to dilute the concentration just in case it's uh, too much amperage what's drawn we'll go a little bit further inside to each unit what you see here this is the water trap don't fill any water in here the water or the gas what's coming out of the bubblers will be going first in this water trap just in case there's a water spill overspill it will be collected here and can be released with this nozzle then we have the gas dryer right here just in case there is a water building up condensation or something like that you will be able to twist it open and dump it out then what you see here are uh, releases just in case you want to empty the whole system you take those releases out of the zip tie and lower them all the way down open the valve and all the water out of the bubblers will come out like always make sure that you don't release the water inside the unit that you release it with those hoses outside the unit in a bucket you simply take the nozzles out out of the box into a bucket and then open those valves during operation and when the bubblers are filled with solution those nozzles always have to be higher than the water level just in case those valves would not withstand the pressure they are tested they're rated but just in case we want to have them up here so there's no water spill at all whatsoever if you see a water build up here in the gas dryer simply take this nozzle out and release it outside open the valve release it in a bucket during operation of this unit this nozzle always has to be up exactly like the other nozzles up there the unit also has two fans one for intake one for exhaust so that there is a good circulation of air in here after you filled up the bubbler with solution and you hooked up the power cable you're ready to go here is the control panel you see of course the two relays 
you see the main switch position off is off of course both sides of the you see the power switch here zero off of course then you have position one one and two and two this system is divided it has eight cells total and you can divide them four by four so you want to leave it in the position one plus two so all, all, all eight cells are running right now then we also have each cell fused with 25 amps four here and four here here you see the ground connection just in case you need another ground you can simply hook up another cable here then up here is a control box with the ISDN cable outlet for the control box inside the passenger compartment. This box is very important. This is the volt sensitive switch. You will see here a green light when the system is on and here is a potentiometer where you can dial the right voltage so the system turns on when the alternator is running and not the ignition is on. So just when this system picks up 13.8 voltage from the alternator, then the system will start up. You can fine tune it here, start up the engine and fine tune it here. So the system starts up. You will see the green light here when the power is being generated. You will be also able to mount this system to the truck you're using those mounting brackets here they can be easily mounted to the truck and then the system will be mounted to this mounting brackets now when you hooked up the system to the power make sure that you turn it all the way on one and two that both parts of the unit are running all eight cells you see here the green light is illuminated already so the system is on and you can now inside the passenger compartment you can now turn on the control unit when we turn it on now of course there's no water in the in the bubblers right now so the water level alarm will go off It shows 3 amps right now because there's still a little bit water inside the plates of the cells. Here one more time in short form what to do to start up the system. You want to open those two in order to do that you grab inside the inside the unit you grab the white screw up there unscrew that first and then this side that you can take out the plugs first take out the white plugs okay when those are out then you will be able to open the lids of the bubblers when you open the lids of the bubblers then you have a hole in the roof that you can put a funnel in there to put the solution in the bubblers when you put the solution in the bubblers then you can turn turn on the engine and start the system put it on one and two that the, all eight cells are running you have to adjust here on the potentiometer the voltage for the system when the alternator is running usually it's 13.8 but you can adjust it to your alternator this is a gas dryer the gas goes first from both bubblers inside the gas dryer and from the gas dryer it goes in this gas filter from the gas filter it goes out in this corner over there outside so you can hook up a hose towards the air intake of your vehicle just in case there's a water overspill, it comes here in the, in the water trap, in the gas dryer. When you see water being built up here, you simply take the nozzle off 
and release it outside the box in a bucket. Also the same here when you see your water build up, condensed water build up here in the filter. Simply unscrew the whole filter, dump it out and put the filter back in. Just in case you need to release the water out of the whole system, you take those nozzle, nozzles out of here, put them outside the box and release the water, open the tubs. During the regular operation of this unit, those releases, all three of those, always, always have to be up higher than the water level of the bubblers to prevent a dripping or leakage. You see here a seal. What is uh, sealing up the control board that you cannot open it to look behind the control board. There is no need for you to go behind the control board to the cells. Just in case you have a question or you think there is a need to open the control board, call us first. Don't just break the seal because you will void the warranty.